so today we are going to see uh, in this class built in exceptions so built in exceptions actually in the last class we have covered uh, the concepts like final uh, the throw and throws this is the concept last class we have seen throw throws final when you are discussing about the finally keyword you please make sure that there is a difference between final finally and finalize so these are the three different keywords available in java one is the final another is the finally another is finalize normally final keyword is going to be used to apply the restrictions on the class method and variables already we have seen different examples on this final keyword to make restriction to make it as a constraint without change of that one we are going to using final keyword so final is a keyword here and coming to the finally finally is going to be using to place important code like already we have seen the example in exception right any important code which must and should be has to executed maybe exception raised or exception does not raise right so any important code can be placed in finally in the in this block so finally is a not a keyword it is a block like open braces and close braces finally open braces and close braces coming to the finalize is used to clean up the processing of the before the object is going to be garbage collected so already when you are discussing the gc garbage collection concept we already have seen that what is the purpose of this uh, finalize keyword right so this finalize method is going to be used for clean up whatever the objects you have created whatever the objects you are going to create it like it is acting as a part of garbage collection so finalize is a method here it's not a keyword so final is a keyword finally is a block finalize is a method is a very important for your interview so final keyword is going to be used to restrict the class method variables whereas finally is using to keep the important code in that block whereas finalize is used going to be performed to clean up the process of the object garbage collection so whereas final is a keyword finally is a block and finalize is a method so these are differences between that two and coming to the today's topic so we are going to discuss in this uh, class is java built in exception so the name itself is called as built in built in normal meaning is what predefined that is a predefined things are there so we have two types of exceptions one is user defined another is built in exception now in this class we are talking about the built in exception in the next class we'll talk about in next uh, topic we'll talk about user defined exception now built in exceptions are again two types checked exception unchecked exception if you are focus that checked exception will be done at compile time whereas unchecked exception can be done at run time so compile time exceptions are called as checked exception run time exceptions are called as unchecked exception already we have seen the examples for checked exception is the class not found exception interrupted exception io exception instantiation exception sql ex exception file not found exception unchecked like arithmetic exception class cast exception null pointer exception array index out of bound exception array store exception illegal thread exception these are the exceptions or there now let me discuss in detail about that what are the the classes the, these are called as built in exception classes here so this classes here is the exception name arithmetic exception arithmetic exception is going to be using for divided by zero type of exception then it will be called by the through the class called as arithmetic exception array index out of bounds exception is like out of bounds like the array size is a of 10 you are assigning a11 a12 value uh, to the index a11 a12 then it is a out of bounds array store exception assign to an array element to an incompatible type like you have declare an integer array but you are trying to be assigned to a string array so it is incompatible to each other class cast exception invalid cast means invalid cast in the sense wherever you are going to calling this uh, invalid cast we have seen in the packages where you are calling try to call a package class at the time this type of cast exception is coming to raise and enum constant not uh, not present illegal argument exception illegal monitor state exception so few of the exceptions which are uh, related to the uh, when you go for the big programs when you are dealing with the uh, the complex type of programs at the time this type of exceptions are very important for them so as a time being you please remember arithmetic exception purpose here array index out of bound exception very regularly we are going to using this right so another is uh, we can use the negative array size of exception null pointer exception and we can also use uh, Uh, like we can say illegal argument exception this also be very comfortable 
remember a five to six exception where it is going to be dealing with that one so every exception having their own purpose so if you see for example illegal monitor state exception if in your program you are writing a logic which is belongs to to monitor the operation such as waiting uh, uh, on a unlocked thread so this will be discussed in the next uh, chapter we have multi threading concept so to monitor such type of unlocked threads we can use this illegal um, the monitor state like for example illegal state exception so if in your application it is related to the environment oriented environment or application is incorrect state then it is a it will be raised so illegal thread state exception this also we will discuss in the multi thread uh, concept so requested operation not compatible with current thread state at such situations we can use it and make sure that uh, if you are see here uh, string index out of bounds like we have array index out of bounds right here string index out of bounds like attempt to index outside the bounds of a string outside the bounds of a string in the sense it is going to be within the uh, for example we are calculated the length of the string we have de defined a string like this is uh, object oriented programming through java class this is a string now if you are going to be accessing like s of 0 if you store as a in s variable s of 0 is t s of 1 is h s of uh, 2 is i s of 3 is s like t h i s like this you are going to accessing accessing right if you are beyond to that one beyond to the within the uh, out of the this is the object oriented programming uh, through java class out of this if you are going to trying to access the string then it will be raise the error string index out of bounds like this we have many different classes are available let me have discussed with some examples so that you can understood very clearly and coming to here a program here how to handle uh, the exception and move on so previously wherever the uh, the exception raise we are going to be encounter that exception and the program is going to be continue to the next execution process it is going to be continuing for that in the same fashion what we can do is we are going to doing here how to handle the exception as well as we are moving for that one see for example i am importing a package called as random already we have seen the example on this one i am creating a class called as handle error and i am calling the main method here and i am declaring the three variables a b c and initialize to zero and i am calling a random the class the constructor and i am going to creating a object for a random class that is or i am calling a for loop for i equal to zero to i less than three so zero one two so three times the loop will be repeat each time what we are doing is we are writing a try here and we are writing a catch here so try and catch these are the two we are going to be writing here so what you are doing in the try is we are reading one random value in the integer random value that will store in b another integer random value we are uh, taking and it is storing c what we are doing we are computing a expression a equal to 1 2 3 4 5 divided by b by c so whatever the random value integer random value for b and as well as the random value for c will be first evaluated it is divided and whatever the result will come it will be divided with 1 2 3 4 5 if it is raised any divided by zero error this will be catch by this arithmetic exception this and not only it will be cache if it is any such type of things we are going to initializing a equal to zero we are making whenever it raise an exception divided by zero what we are setting for that a value we are set to zero and continue that is called as exception is handling how you are handling when the try is throws that exception cache will be cached that exception and how you are move on by initializing the zero value to that respective variable and we are move on means it will goes to again second for loop again we are it is dividing again it is going to be initializing and again it is going to be dividing all so move on is nothing but wherever the possibility of that this is an exception has raised and to overcome that problem you know what is the error there what is the error it is get, getting divided by zero so if you are going to thinking that if I initialize for which a variable it is getting divided by zero, if we initialize the zero value for that variable, definitely the problem is resolved and it is going to be continue the process. So the example says that it will handle the error. We are not saying that it is handling the exception. It is also handling the exception as well as it is handling the error as well. It is not only throwing the exception, but also giving the solution for that. So let me see in the program uh, so that you can understood very clearly about this. Okay, so here is the program mm, we have. Here is the handle exception, handle error. 
see here handle error static void main we are calling the main here r and these are the uh, the things just now we had discussed right so i am go to this respective code here is the program handle i am going from here to the command prompt i am going to command prompt here and handle error error is uh, capital e r r o r dot java if no errors run the program handle error okay so see a equal to 1 2 3 4 b equal to 1 2 3 4 divided by 0 a equal to that is 0 so what is the program what actually we are going to display here we are displaying a value so when you are displaying a value it is generating the random value b and c when it is dividing it is showing some one i think so that's why it is displaying the value as that is a now for the first time a value is 1 2 3 second time loop for i equal to 0 a value is 1 2 3 4 for i equal to 2 a equal to 1 2 3 4 for i equal to 3 when i value is becomes uh, the uh, 0 this is the value for i value 1 this is the value for i equal to 2 there is a divided by 0 and we are assigning a value to 0 so this is what they are doing if you are not initialized here so three times you are repeating the loop right for i equal to 0 1 2 right so for i equal to 0 when it is some random numbers in this random numbers are assigned to b and c and it is divided and whatever the value we are getting for b and divided by c it will be divided with one two three four five and if any error is there it will be raised this exception handle if there is no error it will directly display the a value similarly for i equal to one it is dividing there is no error go for this display when i equal to two it is having some error it raised that uh, exception handling raise over here divided by zero and we are initializing a value to zero over here so like this this is the output a a and divided by zero and a value is zero over here so that's what how we can do it if you're not assigned this value of zero here and i am compelling again one more time what will happen is this is a value divided by zero initially initially it is getting divided by zero and a value is it is going to be zero and again for second time the random value that is minus four one one five the third time again there is a error like this the output will comes in a different manner so what we can do is we'll just again save the program compile it and run the program see divided by zero a equal to zero divided by zero equal to zero all again if you run another value because it's a random right so randomly it is generating different different values so we we can't predict uh, always the same output okay hope you understood like see another example so this is about handling other the, another example here this is the best example where in the uh, built-in exceptions we are going to talking about an exception class and also we are talking about arithmetic exception class so these are the two classes i'm going to be using to make understood you uh, better for this one so here we are going to calling super sub uh, catch this is now i'm calling the main method and a equal to zero and 42 by a it is dividing when it is raised the exception actually what the exception it is it is belongs to arithmetic exception it is belongs to arithmetic exception but when you define the catch exception first exception class catch first and next if you go for the arithmetic exception then who is the parent and who is the child here is this is the parent exception is the parent and arithmetic exception is the child so when you are raising any error over here it will goes to the parent itself it doesn't goes to the child so to make sure that because this is the program called to understood you super class and super exception as well as the child exception who is the super exception for all the exceptions is exception class so any error has raised in this try block it will need to go to arithmetic exception actually because it is a arithmetic divided by zero exception so it is not go to there because the try followed by the cache immediately immediately try followed immediately followed by the try uh, block what is the catch exception a class is there so it will goes to this exception instead of going to this one so to make sure that here in this example you need to be understood that whenever any super class exception is there it will not go to the child class even though the exception belongs to the child class the exception which is raised by the try block is belongs to the child class it doesn't goes to that the child class exception so it will goes to the parent exception here so if you want to go to that one we have to be reverse the order of the catch statement so this catch has to go here and this catch has to go here 
So like this, we can need to interchange. Then it will be run the program. So let me run the program so that you can understood very clearly about this one. So here is the super, uh, super, here is the program, the same program. See, exception, super class is there. This is subclass. So when it is a divided by zero, actually it has to go here, but it doesn't go to here, it will go to here. Let me run the program, super sub, clear the screen, Java C space, the name of the program is super sub catch, super sub catch dot Java. No, it is exception arithmetic has already been called by this, this is an error, see? Error, exception, arithmetic exception already have been caught, already have been caught over here. So why it is uh, raising that error is because already is caught by the super class. So no need of this, uh, this one, no need of this one because already it is taken care by the super class that is exception. I say, I'm just saving, I'm keeping that in the comments, just I'm running the program, no errors, right? So run the program. Generic exception catch. So if you want to be raised this one, what we had to do, we had to keep this catch block. We had to keep this catch block, this catch block first. Next, we had to keep this catch block next. First will arithmetic exception, sub catch, next super catch. Then at the time, let me see the program. I'm just uh, compiling one more time. See, no errors, right? Run the program. This is a never reach. So this is a never reach is a, the arithmetic exception uh, statement. It is not coming the exception. So if it is first is there, the child subclass exception, it will be called this one instead of super. So when you are having the parent first and child next, even though the child error it is, it will never catch, it will catch by the parent and will raise the error over here. So that's about the super catch of that. So to understood better, let me talk about we have built-in uh, exceptions out there, right? In our program, we have different built-in exceptions out there, right? Here, different built-in exceptions out there, checked and unchecked. Let me have discussed a few about that one to uh, make sure to understood very clearly about this checked and unchecked, okay? So let me, I'm going to be discussing a program here, a program to handle arithmetic exception, array out of bound exception using try and multiple catch statements. So multiple and catch statements. So this is a same demonstration which already we have discussed in the previous uh, classes, that is multiple catch statements. So what we are doing here is, it is going to be talking about multiple catches. Here we are considering a class, multiple catches here. And this multiple catches followed by, I'm considering a main method. And here I'm declaring uh, the arguments length calculating. So whatever the arguments you are entering at the command prompt, we are calculating that length. If the length, whatever it is, it, is, it has to display that length. And if it is the length other than if you are given at least uh, one or two inputs there, it will be divided over here. If you are not giving any inputs there, the number of arguments is zero. So when it is divided 42 by zero, it will raise divided by zero exception. So it will go and throw here. It will go here and will raise the error divided by zero, so on, so. If it is correct input you have given, some input uh, command line argument, you have given some input there and it will divide it and it gives the value of that particular. Maybe if you enter one input, if it is 42 by one, it is a 42 output. If it is a two, 42 by two, it is a 21. Next coming to that, here we are initializing uh, an array of size one, but you are going to be assigning for C42 index a 92 value. So it is raised and again a error. So what type of error it is going to be raising is an array index out of bound error, right? So array index out of bound error it is going to be raising over here. Here, it is going to be raising. So at the time, it will be catched by this. If you raise this error, if this any error is there, it will be catch it. But here the problem in this program is, if any error at comes here in this line, it will throw that exception, arithmetic exception, and it will catch. And it never goes to, again, if it is an exception here, it never goes to this block because we are writing the program one try, this is one try and multiple catches. But when it is throws one exception here, for example, it will goes to this arithmetic exception and it will never go back because we have read write the code in a such a manner. We have written the code in a such a manner. We need to go not go to there, even though there is an exception. If you have given a correct input here, correct input here, 
and it will execute it. And if this will be raised than exception, and the exception here is array index out of bound exception. Now let me see that uh, running of the program. So what is the name of the program here is multiple catches. Just we'll go to the command prompt and the program Java C space here dot Java. No errors. Run the program. Java space multiple catches. So I'm not giving any input here in the command line. So zero. So at the time, what the error is raising? A value zero, and it is raising arithmetic exception by zero. And after try and catch blocks. Okay, because here also we have an error that is array index out of bound. It is never going there because it come out of from the try block and it is executing the arithmetic exception block. That is a catch block, and it never goes to. And the next statement is normal execution of a try and catch block. Now I am running the same program, the same output. If I am giving any input here, like one, two, three input, like I am giving like this, two inputs I am giving here. So when what is the a value is two. Now the value of b is forty-two by two. That is twenty-one. And after that there is an exception is there. That is array index out of bound exception. That is forty-two is there. And it will executing normal execution of a try and catch block. What you understood here? If you are giving input at the command line when you are running the program. Then it will be executed uh, the b equal to 42 by some value, and it will not throw the arithmetic exception. It goes to the next exception that is array index out of bound. If you are not given, if you are given the input, if you are not given that one, it will goes to first exception that is arithmetic exception, and it never goes to array index out of bound exception. So this program can be defined as based on the input you are giving, it will goes to arithmetic exception or it goes to array index out of bound exception, but not both at a time. Okay. So this it can be do like this also, and another way to do this same program. Another way we can do the another way of uh, doing of the program is just I will show you here for you. See mm. here I am going to show you. See another. So same program. Uh, if you are observe carefully, a program to handle arithmetic exception array index out of bound exception through try and catch. So what we are doing here is. If you have any exception at arithmetic, it will raise it. If you have any exception at cache, it will be raised. So how we are going to do that with the help of nested try. So I am creating a class called here here nested try one here the class name. So again I am calling the main method and I am going to using a try block here and inside the try block I am going to using one more try one more try block for this try this is the catch this is the catch for this arithmetic exception this is the catch. And for this another one more try, I am using. This is for array index out of bound. This is the catch for that try. And the main try is there, right? Here the main try. For that try, this is the catch. Okay. So try catch inside the try. I am going to using try catch try catch. That is try catch is called as nested try catches. Here this is this is one try catch, right? This is one try catch. This is arithmetic exception. This is another try catch. This is for array index out of bound. Even though it is having any error in the arithmetic, it will be raised. If you have any error at the array index out of bound, this will be uh, run the array index out of bound class, right? So you can very suitable for the aim of this program is this program is very suitable for that one. So let me run the program. What happening here? Here is inside the try block, we are going to be dividing 39 by 0. It will raise the error, and this is the arithmetic exception. And here I am declaring the array size of 5, but for a of 5, I am going to be giving four value. A of five means what? Array index starts from zero, one, two, three, four. What is the size of this array? Five. From A of zero, A of one, A of two, A of three, A of four. But not A of five. Okay, don't be confused. Five means it is A of five is there not 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 like that. Array index starts from zero. That's why A of zero, A of one, A of two, A of three, A of four. That is the size of the array. But it doesn't having any size for index for A of five. So you are trying to assigning four value for that A of five. It raises the array index out of bound. Exception. Now, rightly run the program so that you can understood very clearly. Java C space nested try one dot Java. If we have no errors, can run the program. See, going to divide. So this is an arithmetic exception. Next is array index out of bound exception. This is five. That is normal flow. This is the output we are getting over here. So we can write that code like in this way. Nested uh, try is the best suitable for suit of this program. Best suitable code for that one. Okay, and normally also we can write this one. This also we can write it. Multiple catches. This is one uh, try. Multiple catches. But 
we, based on the input, it will be executed. Arithmetic Excel sometimes it will execute array index out of bound. Sometimes it depends on your input how you are giving over there. Okay. So these are the examples uh, what we have discussed uh, for built-in uh, Java built-in exception. Uh, we have seen one example how to handle and move on. We have seen one more super sub uh, catch how it is going to be catching the super when the super exception class are there. And also we have seen the multiple catches, one try multiple catches, where in that we are discussing about the arithmetic built-in exception and array index out of bound built-in exception. Okay, and also we have seen the nested try. There also we have talked about the built-in exception functions. That is arithmetic exception as well as array index out of bound exception. So that's about the Java built-in exceptions.